a happy reunion for an Oklahoma family back together with their dog missing for more than a year. We first told you the story nearly two weeks ago when the Tulsa shelter the dog was found out adopted him out before his family could claim him. Torch Reviews problem solver Katie Kelleher shares their story of getting him back and what they have, what advice they have for other pet owners. A reunion more than a year in the making. Stop, Ace. That's Ace. Ace went missing from his Edmond home in July of last year and turned up at Tulsa Animal Welfare just before this Labor Day. When his owner, Jessica Strickland, called to claim him, he had already been adopted out. That's when she contacted the two Works For You problem solvers. She says he was adopted too early. At the time, the city of Tulsa said Tulsa Animal Welfare followed all city ordinances. Then Jessica got a call from the shelter last week. They had done an investigation and uh, realized that they had made a mistake, uh, unintentional mistake by adopting Ace out too early and that they would uh, work on getting him back for us. Saturday, that reunion finally happening. Hey, buddy. Seems very much the same, lots of energy, still happy, snuggly Ace that he was. Another important reunion with his brother, Maverick. They just kind of smelled each other for a minute. And then our other dog, Maverick, he like, his tail, tail started wagging really fast and uh, they were just both really excited. Started running around around the house. Ace's microchip traced him back to Strickland, but the shelter had a hard time contacting the family because some of the information on the chip was wrong. So I would recommend that everyone chip their animals and then even if you're positive that your contact info is right, double check it. Strickland says she never had contact with the family who adopted Ace, but is thankful they gave him back and hopes they find their new furry family member. She's thrilled to have her own family back together once again. And I really just wish you could tell me where you've been the last year. What stories have you now seen? We reached out to the city for a comment on the results of the shelter's investigation and says it will release a statement Monday. Katie Kelleher, Two Works For You.